in the Ozark Mountains. Jason is building a traditional Navajo structure known as a hogan, where he and Mary plan to welcome their second child, due to arrive in just three weeks. Once you get these first eight down and everything locked together, all you logs stop shifting around and trying to roll out from under you. But as the walls get higher, lifting the 100-pound logs overhead becomes more difficult and dangerous. Now when you have a second person holding and shifting things around, and the higher you get, the harder all this is. When you're down low and doing something, it's really easy, but up this high, there we go. It gets real difficult real quick. While Jason does the heavy lifting, Mary prepares a clay mixture to seal and insulate the structure's walls. I'm gonna add some water here. Just wanna add a little bit at a time. The traditional recipe calls for a base of sand and clay to be combined with lime to form a homemade stucco. One of the reasons I add lime to the clay and sand mix is when it's applied as a plaster, the outside of the lime returns to its limestone properties. So it's, it's hard, it's waterproof, and yet it still expands and contracts. And so that's it's looking pretty good, real sticky. Grass fills the larger gaps before Mary applies sealant. You can use cloth or wool or sawdust, but we have a lot of grass right here, so that's what I'm using. What is wrong? I'm just feeling really crampy. You look a little, <sighs> you're wobbling. I think I just need something to drink. Well, that's easy. <sighs> okay. Come on. <sighs> this is the way she was when she started to go into labor with River. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go get the midwife. In the remote Ozark Mountains, Mary and Jason Hawk's new baby is due to arrive in three weeks, but early labor pains could mean a change of plans. Hey. Hey. Jason's called in the midwife for a checkup. What are your contractions feeling like? Oh, well, I was getting cramping, and then the contractions were probably, I don't know, about 10 minutes apart. I didn't, I didn't think it was, you know, that big a deal, but. Um, I did. I don't know nothing about birth and no babies, so it's really nice to have somebody here that does. So pubic bone to where the baby ends, it's 39. You're talking about your wife, your partner, and your child coming into this world. You want to make sure that they're covered. If you're not, you're an idiot. The contractions may have passed, but they're a sign the baby could come early. Mary is healthy and she's fit. The baby's not coming, at least in this moment. All right, give me a hug. But the baby's coming sooner than later. Mm, thank you. A false alarm like this, it really hits to you that this baby's coming. And uh, it really puts a pressure on getting this Hogan finished. It's creating a space to honor this little baby that's coming in to our clan here. This is a huge deal to me and to Mary and the baby. I have to make sure it happens. 